Hi, uh, welcome back. Today we will be learning about transaxles. What are transaxles, how exactly they work and where are they installed. So you might all be knowing about transmission, axles, differential etc. So transaxle is a unit which combines the functionality and the components of transmission, axle and differential together as a single unit. So uh, in normal automobiles, if you see, we have the gearbox which is called as the transmission. So this is the transmission over here. Okay. And this is the axle where we have the differential housing, the differential gears, etc. Uh, like the uh, crown wheel, pinion, star gears, etc. The uh, axle shaft, wheels, etc. So this is our axle and this is our transmission. So they are two different units. This is one unit and this is the second unit. Okay, but in a transaxle, we combine the functionality and the components of both these together, the transmission and the axle, and it becomes a transaxle. So here I have drawn a transaxle. So this is our axle, you can see, and this is the transmission. So if you uh, see here, this is our uh, differential casing. So the differential casing, this is the crown wheel over here, you can see. Uh, the axle arm, this is the axle shaft, so this is the hub and the wheels are being connected to this. This is the pinion uh, from which the drive from uh, the transmission or the gearbox is getting towards the differential or the crown wheel. So normally in uh, normal automobiles where we have the transmission and the differential as separate units, we have the gearbox over here and this is the propeller shaft and the propeller shaft at the end will be having uh, the pinion which will be connecting towards the crown wheel over here so uh, we have the transmission we have the axle and in between we have the propeller shaft which transmits the power of the torque from the gearbox towards the axle but in a transaxle we don't have this as separate this is a single unit so this is a single body inside a single casing so this is our gearbox or the transmission and this is our axle the whole axle and the differential unit so that's why it's called as transaxle a combination of transmission and axle that is transmission plus axle in a single unit is called as transaxle which combines all its functionality of both the systems together and the advantage of the transaxle is that it's a gear to gear contact we don't have propeller shafts in between as shown here so it's a gear to gear contact so more torque can be transmitted and it has more or great amount of uh, load carrying or bearing capacity because more torque is uh, developed and it avoids other belts or chains or other connections in between because it's a single unit and it is completely closed so uh, foreign materials dust particles debris will not get entered into this unit so it's almost like a maintenance free unit and where exactly the transaxle comes into play that's very important because in normal vehicles uh, you, you may not be seeing the transaxles but in those vehicles where we have front engine and front wheel drive and rear engine and rear wheel drive so if we see if we have a front engine and the front wheel drive is given the distance from the front axle and the engine will be much less so we cannot have a technology like this to transmit uh, the power from the gearbox towards the axle because they are in a single side so to accommodate that when we have a front engine and a front wheel drive or a rear engine and a rear wheel drive we use a transaxle so that the whole unit can be compressed into a small a single unit which can accommodate the functionality of both the systems so the transmission and the axle and the differential combines together as a single small unit with a single casing like this so this is our differential, this is our the whole axle over here, uh, this is the axle shaft, the both axle shaft, the wheels, the axle arm over here, this is our crown wheel, here we'll be having the star gears, this is our pinion, okay, this is the pinion over here and these are the gears inside the transmission normally. So that's uh, how a transaxle looks like and this is how a transaxle works simply like the engines drive through the clutch or if it's an automatic transmission vehicle a torque converter is used the drive gets into the uh, transmission or the gearbox and through the pinion it reaches the crown wheel or the differential so that's how a transaxle exactly works so these are the difference 
uh, between the trans axle and a normal uh, axle. So I believe you got an idea about the construction and the working of a trans axle. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel and also uh, please click the like button or do drop a comment and refer about us to your friends also. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Thank you.